All right, yeah, we all know about the pesky shot timing fluctuations on 2K23, a new mechanic that I guess the 2K development team thought was a good idea. And partially, I feel like it's a good idea as well, considering it does help create a skill gap. But what we've learned in 2K23 about shot timing fluctuations is that you guys can get about an 80% slowdown when shooting while fatigued. And you will also receive a 35 millisecond speed up trying to shoot with a defender in proximity. What happens to your shot timing when and both of those things happen simultaneously shooting while fatigued and having a defender in proximity we've been to get into all the details y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can before we continue this video i would love if you guys could take a second and subscribe to my second channel the link for the second channel will be in the description below we're going to be playing a ton of different games and going live on that channel so please consider subscribing i'd greatly appreciate it and i also want to mention if you guys are tired of running with randoms and you want a chance to get added to an exclusive group of verified players within our discord community come try out for the all city lunatics we hosted tryouts last night and it was a tremendous success salute to all the all city lunatics who participated and our management team for helping tryouts go really smoothly i was just truly humbled by the level of participation and everyone who pitched in if you're looking for players to run with come on out and join our discord the link for discord will be in the description below now let's find out what mike wang had to say about shot timing fluctuations when a shooter shoots while fatigued and a defender is in proximity i want to reference this tweet from aaron 2k aka idiot he sent out this tweet saying question on shot timing we all know our shot slows when stamina gets lowered we also know that shot speeds up on contests but he asked mike wang how does that work when your stamina is low when shooting contested shots does it speed up or slower the shot trying to understand aaron 2k aka idiot is obviously sending mike wang a message and trying to understand these shot timing fluctuations and this was mike wang's response mike says yeah they'll more or less cancel each other out that response from mike wang left me more confucius than probably aaron 2k aka idiot now i get the idea of what mike wang's trying to say considering a slowdown in your shot timing shooting fatigue then a speed up in your shot timing while a defender is in proximity he's saying they should cancel each other out but the verbiage that mike wayne uses in they'll more or less cancel each other out to me sounds like there's just additional variables added onto shot timing in other words if they indeed did cancel each other out then you would be shooting with your normal shot timing full stamina bar no defender in proximity that will be the ideal thought process for a developer saying that they will cancel each other out the mechanics will cancel each other out and you guys should see a normal shot timing as if no defender is in the area and you were shooting in a full stamina bar but considering Mike Wang's response was more or less cancel each other out, gave me the impression that there's a ton of different variables added in between. So it might slightly cancel out your slowdown of up to 80%, which probably would put it like at 50 or 40% slowdown. And those are just additional shot timing fluctuations that you guys would have to learn out there. From my many times trying to run the one position on 2K23, I gotta tell you those shot timing fluctuations seem completely erratic. And from my experience shooting on low stamina with a defender in proximity, it doesn't seem like they can cancel out and I revert back to my normal shot timing. I don't know if you guys are experiencing that. If you do indeed experience a cancel out between the 2K mechanics of a slowdown and a speed up, sound off in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on that because I don't believe that they do cancel each other out. I experienced a tremendous amount of shot timing fluctuations in low stamina and shooting while a defender is in proximity. I really do believe that it would be a good mechanic if they did indeed cancel each other out and you reverted back to your normal shot timing that's only if 2k did incorporate that properly into 2k23 from my experience i don't see that happening out there and considering this vague response saying yeah they'll more or less cancel each other out for a new mechanic that has not been properly articulated to the 2k community we had to do a ton of guesswork the good folks over at nba 2k lab had to actually find out down to the millisecond how much your shot speeds up when a defender is in proximity they also had to find out how much of a slowdown you will suffer when shooting fatigue that was not information that 2k provided us and i wish 2k would just be a little more transparent 
with explaining the intricate details of new mechanics incorporated into new games, especially when it involves our shooting out there. I'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts about this. Y'all sound off in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K23 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.